McDonald came to this new church, it was then, built in 1901, um, in 1903. He stayed for three years. She was the church organist, so that's where she met him. Right, yeah. So when he left Cavendish in 1906, he had asked her to marry him and said he'd wait because he knew she wouldn't leave her grandmother. So five years later, her grandmother McNeil died so he came back home and they were married up at her Aunt Annie McNeil Campbell's home up in Park Corner. They went to live in Leeskdale, Ontario. Her sons were born there and many of her books were written there. But she never lived on Prince Edward Island again after she married in 1911. She lived in Ontario, but she came back on many visits. But every book she wrote, except one, had its setting on Prince Edward Island. Mm -hmm. She died in Toronto in 1942. I attended her funeral service. It was held in our church here, and she's buried in our Cavendish Cemetery. But in 1911, when the grandmother died and she left here to be married, this was just an old abandoned homestead. No one ever lived in the old home again. John's grandfather used the barns for many years, but no one ever lived in the house. And when old homes aren't lived in, they mm -hmm. crumble. Yeah. So, thank you for listening. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah.